Thank you guys so much for joining me. So if you're new to my channel, which of course you are because this is my um, this is my first video. Um, my name is Alicia, but I go by Sephora White. I am so excited. Like, ooh, I'm trying to like keep it in because I don't want to come off too, uh, you know, too extra. So let's just get right into it. We've all been there. Dating, dating. Specifically, um, I feel like a lot of us today in our day and age, we do a lot of online dating. Let's not front, Instagram, Facebook, we use it. This story time is not gonna be about dating online, but it is gonna be about one, one of the worst dates I've ever been on. A couple of years ago, I used to work at a, um, a retail store. When you think of sexy panties, bras, lingerie, smell goods, you know what I'm talking about. I worked there for close to three years, and during that time, I have seen a lot of things. I've had women, um, specifically at that job, trying to invite me to have a threesome. Um, customers and management. <laughs> I had to walk off on that one. Yes, management. <laughs> oh, and men also. Let's not let's not play you in there shopping for your woman, but you trying to shop for me also. I would never give out my number. I kept it strictly professional, and I'm here to do a job. Let me sell you this stuff so I can make my little commission. At the time when I was there, they had started to do commission. Uh, I don't, it, it, was, it wasn't working for the company, but whatever. There happened to be this guy in there, um, and I, I saw him instantly. I feel like we saw each other. And when he first came in, I happened to be on the younger lady side. There are pretty much three, three parts to the store. Um, you have the more mature section. You have the middle, which is like, whatever. And then you have the younger girl section. I happen to be on the younger side. So I saw this guy um, and he happened to be in there with his daughter. Now, he was fine. Um, where's my fan at? Cause I need it. <sighs> so yeah. All right, come on now, I'm trying to record. So <laughs> he was in there with his daughter. So like, I'm not about, I'm no, sorry. For one, I really don't even like messing with people with kids. That's just not my thing. Cause if we're dating, I need to be your child. You need to love me, nurture me, feed me, clothe me. I'm joking, I don't really need all that. It's retail, so like I'm wearing, we all had like headsets. They're like, girl, girl, uh, Alicia, yeah, that gentleman in there, in there, uh, he is looking at your butt. Girl, bend over, bend, bend over. I'm trying to block out what they're saying because it is just, it's messing me all up and I'm trying to keep my cool and I'm trying to like, keep eye contact with him and they're in my ear and I know myself I probably trip and fall trip and fall he out the door that ain't happened but just like be professional be professional <laughs> they're still talking to me on the headset and I'm like just shut up just shut up shut up all right so I'm like you know what I'm going after what I want I'm getting him I go to get a piece of paper um, to write down my number because I'm like, you know what? I'm not playing these kitty games. Get ready to go get a piece of paper and he's out the door. And I'm like, well, I guess it wasn't meant to be. So let me get back to my job. And that's really how I was thinking. Like if we were meant to like, you know, meet or whatever, then it would happen. A couple days later, I'm at work and um, who is it that's walking in the door? Oh, you already know who it is. Ooh. Lord Jesus, give me strength. Give me the strength that I need to get through this story. So at this point in time, all of my coworkers that happen to work in the damn job, including management, they saw him and they all stepped back and they all just stand, literally, they're all standing off to the side and they're like, oh girl, that's him. <laughs> my heart was like, boom, boom, boom. Literally, my heart is jumping in my chest like that and I'm like, Girl, keep it together. It's about to be your husband. You can't be letting your husband see you sweat. Keep it together, girl. Keep it together. <sighs> Listen, th these are true stories. I'm not. I'm not adding to it. I'm. I'm not exaggerating. Th these are stories that actually happen. I asked him, you know, hi, what can I help you find? And he was like, I know what I'm looking for. So I came back for you, and I'm like, oh, Lee. Jesus, take the wheel because I'm dead. It was like, I came back for you. And I'm like, is that right? Okay. Trying to just keep my cool. I'm trying to keep my cool. Um, but he was like, yeah, I happened to be in here the other day. And 
I saw you, you're beautiful, just singing all this cute stuff. But he was like, I was with my daughter and I, I, you know, I could just couldn't do that right then and there. And I'm like, got it, I got it, babe. I got it, like, I completely understand what you're talking about because <sighs> just marry me. We ended up exchanging information and, um, you know, we were texting for a while. We were texting, it was cool, it was great. Um, you know, cute little good mornings and oh, good night, good afternoon, how's work, how are you doing? You know, stuff like that. Just gotta breathe because where we're heading from this point on, So we arranged to go on a date. He's basically like, I want to take you to this nice restaurant. And I'm a little excited and I'm a little nervous because I, like, I've been out of the dating scene for a while. But I'm like, you know what? He is really attractive. Like, I'm I'm with it. Just things started to get a little, a little off. Let's let's just let's just say that. The day we were supposed to um actually go on our date, we, which we still ended up doing, he pretty much sent me a picture of a car. And he said it was his car and okay okay um he said it was his car and the he, he basically said that he had just been in a car accident now i'm looking at the car the car look old as shit but i ain't judging okay i'm not judging because not everybody can afford to have a nice car i'm not judging if you don't have the best car um but yeah he said he had no car because somebody just hit him or something he was like, what are you, what are you near? What are you close to? Like, can we meet up? I still would love to take you out. Like, let's, let's still do this. And I'm like, cool. Well, um, I live in this part of the city. And he was like, perfect. I can meet you. I can meet you at a spot over there. So guess where we ended up going? Just, I mean, just take a guess. I don't knock this place, but it's not a place that I would go to. Not even for like a drink, not even for like girls night. It's just not really my thing. Jesus, y'all gonna be like, really? Really, Alicia? Really? Y'all gonna be like, for real? Okay. We ended up going to Chili's. Now, I I try not to judge, but Chili's though? Chili's? Chili's? I would have rather you say, girl, let's go to Applebee's. Like, I'm, I'm down with Applebee's. I like Applebee's. I don't like Chili's. I don't like Chili's. And I'm waiting for him to come and I, you know he's asking me what type of car am I in and I'm letting him know and I'm you know all of a sudden like I hop out the he's like I'm here I hop out the car and he like walks up from out of nowhere and I'm like okay that was that was a little strange but whatever so we get in there and you know everything is fine what I didn't like and what I wasn't feeling is how he was um talking to our waitress um, that being yes honey yes baby to the waitress no sweetie that don't fly with me. That don't fly with me. And that was kind of like strike one. I think led to another. He pulled out, um, you know how some people have like wallet sized obituaries in their um, wallets? The wallet size. He pulls that out because he was asking about my birthday. So I told him my birthday. He was like, oh wow, I could never forget you then because my father's birthday is around the same time. And I'm like, oh, okay, okay. And um, he gives it to me to look at and I'm like reading it and he was like yeah you see the date on there like trying to tell me that our date our birthdays are close and i'm like no i don't see a date and he was like sweetie look with your eyes look <sighs> hold on now first of all ain't no date on this thing i literally i i so who the hell you think you're talking to who are you talking to Oh, bro, you rubbed me the wrong way, completely. But you can pay for this little meal, and I'm a biggity bounce. Biggity, biggity bounce. And you ain't never gonna see my ass again. So that was kind of like, mm. well, Initially, he said he worked at a diner. He made, he makes a lot of money there. What he said next, I really wasn't expecting, but then I kind of was expecting because, let's rewind backwards, um, one of my close friends at the time that worked at the lingerie store with me was like, no. I ain't feeling him. It's something about him I don't like. Um, and I think he's a stripper. I'm like, girl, he ain't no stripper. He might just be a bodybuilder. And then come to find out, yes, sure enough, he was a stripper. He was a male stripper. I'm not judging you because you're a male stripper. To be honest, I really don't care. 
but I, me personally, I can't see me dating a male stripper. That's just me. Now, if that works for you, cool. We're pretty much talking and he was telling me about, you know, backstory about him and his ex-girlfriend. This is who he has a child with. And um, he was just getting way too deep in the, in the story. And I'm like, bruh, I do not give a damn. Like, to be honest, I'm ready to go. Like, can we wrap it up? He came out of nowhere and was like, I got a foot fetish. Okay, uh, uh, hmm. Okay, you got a foot fetish. He tried to suck my toes at the table. Let's just, let, let, I'm just, just gonna say that. He tried to suck my toes at the table. Now, mind you, I was wearing about six inch heels um, that like laced up. You're not getting these shoes off, but you know what he did? You know what he did? He tried to take my damn shoes off and suck my toes at the dinner table. Are you kidding? We got food right here. We have food a, a spread right here. And you want to suck on some toes? You freak. You na you're nasty. You're nasty. He was trying to suck on some toes. I'm all with the toe sucking. I'm into that. I like it. You can suck on these toes. That's for my boyfriend. But... You ain't sucking on no toes, not tonight. You ain't sucking, you're not sucking on my, this is the first date, and for one, you got an attitude with me, and now you trying to lick on my toes? What's wrong with you? Get your life together. So by this time I'm ready to go, and at this point I was over him the whole night because for one, he kept like being real flirtatious with the, um, with the waitress, and I wasn't feeling it. You're not about to, you're not doing that. But sweetie, you can do that, cause you ain't never gonna see me again. So when it's time to leave, he's pretty much like, you know, where you parked at? Would you be able to give me a ride home? And I'm like, sure. Pretty much where he lives is like up at the area where I work, which is completely out the way. Like, get on the bus. I, if I didn't know he lived that far, I would've been like, thanks, but bye. When we get to his apartment complex, he's literally sitting in the car and then he starts trying to like rub up on my leg. Sir. <laughs> Do you think... Mm, I, I'm not even going to say it. I'm not going to say it, but you know what I'm, you know what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm trying to say. Oh, he's like, do you want to come up? I actually have to get home. I have work in the morning and uh thank you for the evening it was it was unforgettable <laughs> unforgettable i'm out yeah so it, it it was unforgettable thank you so much sir thanks so a couple of days go by and from that point on i already knew like i wasn't interested in him and i had no intentions of moving forward um and i this was the final straw like that text that he sent me couple days later blew my mind and I'm working and I receive a text and he was like hey good morning um can I ask you a question he wanted to ask me a question I'm all for questions go right ahead he was basically saying I showed my roommate pictures of you it was just pictures that I had on my Instagram he was like listen I just want to ask you something and I'm totally cool with it like if you are like I, I have no problem with brace yourself because I've never been asked this question before but brace yourself he asked are you a tranny am I a am what? I what am I a am what? I am what am I am I he was like I'm totally cool with it if you are like I have no no issues but I show my, my roommate your pictures and he thinks that you're a tranny and plus you was like you weren't trying to do anything Meaning sexually. Oh, child. Give me a moment. Give me a So pretty much I responded with a text um, and it was, it was like this. Thank you for the other night, but I don't think that this is gonna work out because I don't have a penis. I was not born with one, I have a vagina, and it seems like you're looking for a companion with a penis. So best of luck to you with your penis findings, but I'm not a tranny, I was born female, um, and I, I can't help you, so take care. So that was that, and uh, after that, I never talked to him again. I blocked him, and I'm the queen of blocking. If I showed y'all my block list, can't have a block party with that block list. <laughs>
but yeah I never talked to him again I actually did see him after that and of course he uh, tried to zip on by sweetie you ain't bothering me you ain't hurt my feelings um I'm fine but yeah you you clearly on the down low and you gotta take that up with God because I can't help you I ain't got I don't have a penis and I'm not about to put a strap on on a strap on on strap on on well y'all get what I'm saying but yes that is the end of my story time dates from hell worst dates from hell the dates hell bad dates period so please comment like subscribe and thank you guys so much for tuning in let me know what you're thinking but yes comment like subscribe all that jazz bye y'all